So I know you didn't want a voiceover, but I really had to do it this time because I needed some music. Um, so I'm just doing my regular everyday steps with my face every single time you see my videos. But with the eyes and the lips, I went a little bit different. With the eyes, I went ahead and prepped them with the Shade Tape Concealer and the Makeup Revolution Banana Powder. And I did go in with two shades out of the Makeup Shack palette. And they have a lot of neutrals in that palette. So I went with that one specifically because of this look. So I really did want to go really simple and classic with that classic red lip. And I'm just going in with this beautiful pink transition shade. And then you're going to see me go in with that orange shade. And that orange shade is going to give me a little more definition. Okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and go in with the Blink palette. It is from BoxyCharm, so I'm not sure the price on this palette. But I did go in with two shades. The first shade, like you've seen, I went in with the Rose Gold shade. And that really just gave me a beautiful shimmer. And I'm going to go back with that but now we're moving on to face products right now and as you see I am color correcting with a lavender color corrector from LA girl and I am going in with my favorite new drugstore foundation by Maybelline I love that they have a pump and the coverage is amazing guys I am using a oldie the pore professional primer that does help pores so now as you can see I'm just dotting it all over my face. I'm going to blend it out with a Makeup Shack T40 brush. And I love this brush when it comes to liquid foundations. So now I'm just going to go ahead and blend that out. And then I'm going to go ahead and use my Morphe sponge to just make sure everything is blended seamlessly. And then I'm going to go to my forehead. Now, as you can see, I am taking a Morphe brush and I'm just going around my brows because you definitely don't want to ruin your brows because it's going to take more time. Then I'm going in with a very light concealer. Since we did go in with a full coverage foundation, I did go in with a light concealer. And this is by ColourPop. So now I'm just going to go ahead and use my face powder and give myself a little more coverage around those dark areas and use my Fit Me Powder by Maybelline. And then I'm going in with my favorite translucent powder now and that is by Makeup Revolution, the banana one. It is amazing guys, so you definitely gotta try that out. So now I'm going ahead and blend out my concealer and you will see me set my concealer and then bake my concealer. Cause I do want my makeup to last for a while. So this is the one little trick for you guys that you can do, especially like if you want to hug up on your boo. You just definitely want to make sure you don't get makeup on his clothes or better yet on your clothes. So I'm just taking that powder off of my Fit Me powder. And I'm going back to the eyes and I'm going to go ahead and go in with that orange shade again, that second shade. And just deafening up the crease to give it a little more oomph. And then I'm going to go ahead and go back to the face once again. And I'm going to dust off that powder and go in with the City Colors Contour Palette. And I'm just going to go ahead and go in with that middle shade with a Morphe brush and just contour my face and snatch those cheeks. Woke up in the kitchen, 
And then I'm gonna go ahead and go back in with the eyes and I'm gonna take that second shade again and just go ahead and use a fluffy small detailing brush and blend out that shade on my bottom lash line. Fourth thing, I am watching Acts of Revengeance on Netflix. Go watch. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and go back in with the Blink palette. I do want those two shades that I just showed you very pigmented on the lid and only on the lid and make sure you don't go too high. Okay, so now I'm going in with the Miami Lily Lashes and I'm going in with this new spray by Sephora. Now I'm going in with the Dolce Mascara. Then I'm gonna take my highlight. Now I did kind of mess up on the highlight. I used Blissful by Ofra, but I realized it was a little too pigmented if it was going for that classical look, that soft classic look. So I went in and took it off and put on Rodeo Drive by Ofra, and that fixed it. Then I'm going ahead and putting it on my nose and my tear ducts and a little under my brow. And I am going in with the Tarte Color Wheel Palette. And I'm just taking those beautiful light blushes and just putting it on my cheeks. Now I'm taking this Kiss. Yeah, it's Kiss. I'm not sure what color it is, but it will be in the description below. And I'm just lining my lips and using Anastasia Ruby Lipstick. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up. If you want to be notified every single time I upload, don't forget to click that bell below right by the subscribe button. That is literally like two to three times a week, mainly on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, or sometimes just Tuesdays and Thursdays. It just depends. So yeah, if you like this video, please leave a comment on what you want to see next because I'm open to new ideas challenges so yeah guys have a nice day have a blessed day bye guys i don't know how long my hair grew literally guys let's have go brown so yeah